What's up guys, this is Manas and it's going to be yet another tutorial in this series of isometric views and this is basically a problem from third angle projection. You can clearly see that this over here represents the top view of an object and this is the front view. Okay, So as far as third angle projection is concerned, this is something that is followed in the US, um, assuming the object to be below the horizontal plane and behind the vertical plane and this is exactly what you get. All right. So the top view is above x y line and the front view is below x y line. Anyway, what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to create a three dimensional view or for that matter, we are supposed to create an isometric view for this projection. All right. So let's read the length and breadth from this view. So we're going to now look at this top view over here. Please don't get confused because uh, we have a habit of assuming the top view to be below and front view to be above. Okay. For the time being, what we're going to assume is this is going to be our top view. So this length over here is 100 millimeters and this breadth is over here that is 40. Okay, that's 40. All right. So let's start. And for start, I'm going to draw this so-called horizontal line, a baseline in fact. And somewhere around this baseline, I'm going to draw a line of 100 millimeters at an angle of 30 degrees. And one more line I will be drawing that will represent the breadth. And breadth is in fact 40 millimeters. So from this point over here, I'm going to draw the breadth of 40 millimeters. All right. So that's our base. Fine. Now you need to keep your trapdoors along here. Tighten the screw. Then you need to move forward until you reach here. All right. Now you need to keep your trapdoors over here. All right. And then take this. And then you need to move forward until you reach here. Then draw a line. So that's the base. Okay. Now guys, the next step is to create a platform and you can clearly see that this object is having some kind of a platform of 20 millimeter high. Okay, the overall height is in fact 30 millimeters and that to a certain portion is 30 millimeters high. The majority of the portion in this particular object is having a height of 20 millimeters. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to give it a height of 20 millimeters. All right. And this should look something like this. Please watch carefully. So this is going to be 20 millimeters. All right. Now you can move 20 millimeters up from this point, from this point and from this point. All right. Now I'm going to join all these points by these lines. All right. That's it. Now for clarity, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these lines so-called edges which will not be visible since they lie below this plane all right now the next step is to create a uh, further profiles and for that let's see what what else can be done okay um this semicircle over here starts from this here and it is absolutely semicircular uh, until it reaches here okay so there is a semicircle starting from this to this all right and the center of the semicircle lies at a distance of 20 millimeters, 20 millimeters from this vertical edge over here. So let us locate this center from this vertical edge, this vertical edge I'm talking about, and we are going to come over here and we're going to travel a distance of 20 millimeters to locate this semicircular arc. All right. And let's see where it is. 20 millimeters. All right. That's it. So this over here guys this is what you call the center of the semicircular arc now guys this semicircle is going to have a radius of let me see how much it is the diameter in fact from this point to this point is 20 hence the radius is going to be 10 millimeters so assuming this to be the center okay we need to go here by an amount of 10 millimeters all right and we need to go this side this side over here by an amount of again 10 millimeters all right so so this is the center 10 over here 10 over here now the next step is to go downwards in the that is 10 and then go upwards 10 again okay so we are going to create this semicircular arc initially and then we're going to move forward for these profiles all right okay fine as you can see this um, I have to create a semicircle over here and you can see this line in the top view this line over here and this line over here 
okay so let's draw these two lines and for that I'm gonna be keeping my drafter over along this line tighten the screw and then bring it to this point draw a line bring it to this point draw a line alright guys okay so the next step is to create this please watch carefully keep your drafters along this line over here then move it upwards draw a line downwards draw a line fine then keep it drafters along this line tighten the screw take it forward draw a line take it backwards draw a line so this is basically a parallelogram into which we'll be ins inscribing a semicircle and for that um, you can follow the steps take a look at this smaller diagonal and this is the corner one of smaller diagonal and we're going to join this with the opposite two ends okay this is the opposite side of this corner all right and its center is over here so we're going to join it by a line and this is one more opposite corner towards uh, this is one more opposite side with respect to this corner and we're going to join this uh, center of this opposite side with the this corner okay and the next step again is for this corner this is the opposite side and that's its center again this is the opposite side and that's its center all right the next step is to draw arcs with the help of a compass you can take this guy as the center and take this much as the arc and you need to rotate this until you reach somewhere here okay now some portion of this arc is still left and it is going to be something like this you can see the mouse hovering okay for that we need to take this guy as the center all right and this much as the arc let's try to rotate this something like this and it's going to end up over here okay guys that's the semicircular arc all right now the same arc is going to be behind also okay so how can that be implemented let's see and for now for the time being i'm going to delete this construction you can uh, if you want to see the construction again you can reverse the video go back and see the construction all right let me delete this 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 and this even this this let me shift it this way let me make it look more realistic all right let me even delete this guy this guy all right now guys you can clearly see that this semicircle starts from this point and ends over here now similarly we're going to have a semicircle at the back also all right and starting from this point this this these two points are spaced 40 millimeters apart you can clearly see that these two points these the, the distance between these two points is 40 millimeters so every point on the semicircle also this point to this point the distance is going to be 40 from this point to this point okay you speak of any point and the distance between these two semicircles is going to be 40 millimeters so what we're gonna do is we'll randomly pick up um, let me first of all shift this over here and then let us do this okay okay now what we're gonna do is we're going to randomly pick up go back side okay by an amount of 40 millimeters so we're going to randomly pick up points let us see this point then this point this over here this one this one that's it okay now you can draw this with the help of a free sketch okay starting from this point like you can see my mouse hovering over there okay that's it that's uh, this is the amount of semicircular arc that is going to be seen at the back side okay and for the time being i'm going to do this that's it okay so this is the amount of semicircular arc which you're going to see and this portion will not be visible and hence i'm deleting this okay that's it guys now let's move ahead and uh, we're gonna figure out this there is one more this is a drilled portion okay so this drill is having a depth of 20 millimeters all right so there is one more circle and this is the top view okay so this has to be created on a horizontal plane so we have to create an horizontal plane over here and then we're going to inscribe this uh, isometric view okay all right so this center over here okay um this distance is going to be how much let me see this is 20 
all right this is 20 fine so the next step is to start from this point and reach over here okay start from this point that is the center of the semicircular arc and we have to reach over here and the distance between these two centers in fact is 35 millimeters so where is the center let me delete all these lines for the time being all right where is the center I have lost the center <coughs> here is the center okay I need to come over here by an amount of 35 millimeters and then that's the point that's the point all right that's the point and I need to go over here by an amount of 20 millimeters all right 20 millimeters so that the center of this uh, circle can be located so it's going to be 20 millimeters that's exactly the center okay let me create a point over here and let me that's the center from here you have to come 35 millimeters and then here 20 millimeters that's how you find the center of the circle now let us see what the radius of the circle is okay it's written over here that it's 525 Phi represents diameter so the diameter is 20 hence the radius is going to be 10 millimeters okay so steps is pretty simple and this direction we're gonna go 10 millimeters all right in this direction we're gonna go again 10 millimeters all right then we have got to come over here same thing over here also okay okay now we have to make a parallelogram okay so you can keep your drafters along this line that have highlighted just now and you can move it forward draw this this okay same stuff for this you can keep your drafter along this highlighted line over here and then move it forward then take it backward here we have this uh, so, so called rhombus inside which we're going to inscribe an ellipse that in reality is a circle okay so here is the isometric view of a circle and which I'm going to which I'm about to draw right now and for that you can clearly see this smaller diagonal again we have a smaller diagonal from both the ends of this smaller diagonal I'm going to draw these so-called lines okay these so-called lines let us do this quickly so that's the first line and this one is the second line let me zoom on it and this smaller diagonal one corner opposite side center is this corner opposite sides center is this okay only thing left is to draw arcs so starting from this this is the arc and let's draw this all right let's finish this also center the arc radius end up here then arc center center is this this much is the radius and let's rotate this until it reaches over here all right finally we have to take this guy as the center this much as the radius and let's rotate this till we reach here okay that's it guys now let us darken this portion <coughs> okay all right now this profile is also ready all right and the one thing that is left is this profile over here so we've already traveled upstairs by an amount of 20 millimeters we need, we further need to go upstairs by an amount of 30 minus 20 will give you 10 so 10 above and 10 above all right so let's go upstairs by an amount of 10 millimeters 10 above all right from this point also okay now you can see this horizontal line we need to go straight into the right hand side direction by an amount of 15 millimeters so let's do that and same stuff has to be repeated in this corner also all right fine what's next okay guys then then there is this five millimeters so the the step is something like this please watch 
from this line to this line okay let me drop a line below so and from this side also okay and now let's join this these let's join these all right now there is a point ahead by an amount of 5 millimeters over here okay so we need to fit in that point okay so this is going to be 5 all right so this is the point i'm talking about i'm going to copy this you can make use of it mini adapter keep it over here and make this point i'm speaking of this point all right this point this point so there is this this some kind of a declination from the top to the bottom not exactly the bottom okay um, so let's join them from this point to this point all right all right so what's next okay now this edge this over, this edge over here which is represented in the top view will not be evident from here okay and even this slope this slope is not going to be evident okay so there is absolutely no point in drawing it still we have drawn it no issues um, this is also not going to be visible and this is going to be somewhere lying over here and that's not visible okay so I'm, right now I'm chopping off the portion which is not visible all right that's it that's uh, <sighs> okay guys that's exactly how the object looks okay so this is when you look at this from the top this is what you're gonna observe and when you look at this from the front from this side over here this is exactly what you're gonna observe all right and uh, let me give it some final touches isn't it and for that I'm gonna delete this portion okay okay that's exactly how this object will look fine guys I hope you have understood the problem and you can draw this on a drawing sheet and gain more and more confidence all right so guys that was all from my side if you have any doubts any query any questions do write them down in the comment section below I'll be very much happy to answer them in the best possible way and as quickly as possible all right so this is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day and keep drawing.